Hey y'all, we're back at it again. Oh, let me roll my window up first. Sauce is loud. Hey y'all, we're back at it again. Did some early morning runs before school and get this money in. Bring the time lapse right to you. Well, drop that off. Now we are headed on to the next one. Uh, that guy paid cash for that, so hopefully he doesn't go over his uh, weight limit because that would really, that would really stink. But I don't think so. He didn't even need. He said he wasn't even gonna need a 20 yarder. He needed a 10. All I have is sevens. So on my way up uh, to drop off the next one. This is gonna be pretty bad because I'm gonna be late for school, but hey, money's money. Uh, so it's, uh, it's only it's only Tuesday now, so we've got the whole rest of the week to make up for that missed class. But yeah, it is one foggy morning out. I was gonna do a time lapse back to the next one because sure after watching that long time lapse. say though is like I said I want to make a video on like how to do like make a QR code for your Google listing and same with your Facebook a link like linking all your social medias to your listing so that when you pop up like it's showing all of um, everything about your business even linking like a BBD link to that too so I once I uh, that's going to be coming here in the coming months. I don't think I'm going to do it right now just because I'm still in school. and I'm not trying to take this thing legit until I graduate. But what I may do is I may still still expand more. Because if business is good and I'm making more, more money, there's uh, no reason for me to not invest in more stuff. But... On the contrary, 
we are coming into a recession. You didn't know, well now you do. Uh, so it's best not to make any big purchases right now, even though I just did, but I own the assets clean, so there, uh, there's no repercussion for me. I, I don't owe anybody money, so uh, if business slows up, well, I'll be fine. All I got is my registration every year, which, oh, uh, don't get me started about that. But, as I get more followers, like, I want to hear from you guys, like, what you guys are doing, uh, you know, marketing for your business, and, you know, uh, what you, how you started doing it, and, like, where you're at now, like, feel free to reach out to me in the comments, uh, I'll try to respond to anyone. So, we're dropping the other dumpster off, <clears throat> and I gotta wait for this guy to get here, so I might be waiting a while. Um, this is why you want to collect payment beforehand, so you can just drop and go. Best advice I can give somebody that's trying to get into this, collect payment over the phone through like a credit card. Also, set it up to where if they throw, like, stuff they're not supposed to in there and, like, you get in trouble with the, the landfill or whatever it may be or if they go over their weight limit, that you can charge them, like, because you're going to have to pay for that. <clears throat> That's the only thing I say, like, getting the cash is nice because, you know, cash is king, but... You have to be there, and then with cash, if they overfill it, you can't really go after them. You could call them. I mean, but how, how unprofessional does that look? Whereas if you just had your system ready to go, okay, they've overfilled it, boom, you charge them, there you go. QuickBooks allows you to do that, but you have to have them send you your their card information. You won't be able to see their information, but if they do go over, you can just charge their card as a customer. But you gotta let them know before you're doing that because people will throw a fit if you just charge their card. And they're like, what did I do? Why are you charging me $900? It's like, sir, because you put 10 tons in the dumpster. Yeah, I, I've, I've never had anybody overfill it. I've had them pretty close, but right now, running the smaller stuff, I don't think you really necessarily need to worry about that because I'm not having anybody put anything else rather than like construction debris or like stuff stuff like of that nature nobody's putting like dirt or like concrete in there i'm not allowing that yet i've never i mean same with like somebody told me they were going to tear off a roof well i was like well let me just raise your limit real quick and you could rent it for this much because if not when the company goes there after like other companies that do this like if you overfill it which i've done before they'll go back and they'll charge you like a hundred dollars a ton i'll just say hey you know i'm not going to charge them that much but what i'll do is say hey you know do you need how much do you think you're uh, how much you're tearing off or like i'll just look up like the uh, amount of like let's say concrete for instance like how much does concrete weigh okay i'm filling a 10 yarder all right boom i'm gonna take 10 yards of concrete is x amount of weight you need this much as your weight limit so i give them that and that's how how it ends up going for them but you know a lot of people don't want to pay that because if they have less and they feel, feel like they're entitled to be reimbursed which you know that's why having the credit card information and being able to go back and charge them after is better 
because then you can ding them for exactly how much they went over rather than charging them just a ballpark number well I mean I said I was gonna get off on the other video but I was just bored so I was like you know what I'm gonna film some more uh, while I'm waiting for this guy to get here so yeah I'll probably time-lapse me like dropping it off and driving away but other than that uh, appreciate you guys watching if I could get thumbs up and subscribers really appreciate that it really helps out push me out to see other people uh, we're gonna be doing some big things down the line and like as con as the content improves the content quality improves you know the things you see are gonna improve so there's there's gonna be a lot happening with this business as of right now it's it's kind of hard to manage things when you're in college full-time but once I graduate college we're gonna be doing some big things I promise you so Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.